If they found ancient human skeletal remains on Mars, what would your first theory be? The Romans had a space program. They started it right after building the aqueducts. Giant water slide launch system. That the Soviets went to Mars in response to the US going to the moon, and weren't going to go public with it until they were actually on Mars so the US wouldn't beat them. However, the lander crashed landing on Mars. Edit, a word. Yeah that would be my guess. The mission went poorly and they covered it up rather than let anyone know. Next to the skeletons were a sign reading definitely Martians. In Cyrillic letters. With a bottle of vodka sitting next to them. Join me in Komat's Mars and race. LSD Sputnik to space. And wearing Adidas tracksuit. With crafty dash cam footage of their rover playing upbeat techno. That's a very Russian government thing to do. Considering how secretive the USSR was about some of the effed up crap they did during the space race, this is plausible. Especially since Mars was actually one of their goals. What effed up crap did they do? I want the juicy details. Look up Vladimir Komarov. He was a Soviet cosmonaut famously known as the man who fell from space. The Soviets intended for Komarov to do a spacewalk between two spacecrafts. However, it is believed that the craft Komarov was meant to fly had severe structural errors that the Soviet leadership glossed over. Komarov knew of the errors, but didn't want to step down from the mission because then his backup pilot, Yuri Gagarin, would be sent, and he was great friends with the backup. Ironically, Gagarin later died in an accident on the job also suspected to be related to structural errors glossed over by Soviet leadership. Komarov flew up into space and orbited around Earth over a dozen times but ultimately could not complete the spacewalk due to a solar panel failure on the craft. He was ordered to come back down to Earth and his parachute failed to deploy at 23,000 feet. Komarov died in a horrific explosion. Soviet leadership was forced to look upon his body, which was literally a charred lump. Feel free to look it up but I wouldn't recommend it. So yeah. The Soviets effing sucked. Edit. The question was literally about Soviet F-ups. All this deflecting to oh but the US did XYZ is frankly irrelevant. Did the US also F up, multiple times, with devastating consequences for a lot of innocent people? Yes. But that wasn't the question. Please take your deflecting elsewhere. Gagarin later died in an accident on the job also suspected to be related to structural errors glossed over by Soviet leadership. As far as I know he got killed in a training flight, because he crossed paths with a reckless pilot. And it got covered up because that pilot was the son of someone in Soviet leadership. Warning, if you google the name the first image that pops up is his remains. That the remains of Komarov's body were an irregular lump 30 cm in diameter and 80 cm long. Yeah that's enough for me thanks. Soviet leadership was forced to look upon his body, which was literally a charred lump. They were forced because he made them have an open casket funeral despite their not wanting to do it. He did this because he had a strong suspicions it wouldn't end well, and he wanted the top brass to look at the consequences of their mistakes. Honestly surprised they had enough power to send a man to his death but not enough to just be like no F that just cremate him and tell his family it was all we could recover. This reminded me of the film Capsule. It's great. Excited to see what kind of responses this one gets. What about the supposed antiquity of the remains? If it was after 1969, it's really not long ago. The ancient part is the one aspect that would be problematic. However, as I can see no rational scenario based on current evidence and knowledge that would allow for a conclusion that a modern human being died on Mars in historical or prehistoric times. I would think that a much more likely explanation would be that, assuming it to be the remains of a secret Cold War mission, the remains, having lain there for 30 years or more, have been affected by exposure to the unique Martian environment, and in particular has been exposed to the harsh radiation of Mars. Our understanding of human decomposition, and thus our ability to accurately assess the age of remains, comes from knowledge gained exclusively in Earth's environment, and it would seem much more likely that our lack of understanding of the effects on human remains on the Martian surface had led to an error in assessing the age of the remains. If they were ancient, Honestly, my first thought, 
as someone who is an astrophysics major and has taken a lot of history courses, is honestly aliens. I don't think it's particularly likely that aliens would do that, but I think it's more likely than some group of ancient humans developing space travel and not leaving behind a ton of signs of advanced civilization. Depending on how you calculate it, some estimates do suggest that we should have had some sort of alien contact by now, Fermi paradox and all that, although I'd still be shocked if we discovered advanced alien life before we found solid evidence of microbes. The Fermi paradox isn't actually a paradox. We simply have zero data for the Drake equation and people just invent odds of life occurring that outputs tons of planets having life. For example, plug 11054 into the Drake equation and see what it spits out. Those odds are based on the same information as the 1109 to 11012 most people come up with. Found the KGB whistleblower. That was my guess as well. That it's a very expensive and elaborate prank. God has an infinite budget. If I was God, I would totally spend my time doing this stuff. He already does. Didn't you know dinosaur bones were only placed here to test our faith? God, God. Hey, we found one of your planets evolved some type of sentient bipedal creatures. Excellent. Let's go F with them. Chorus, yay. I'm not sure if it's blasphemous but I low-key really like this as one of the motivations of God. Haha, ha, I'm a prankster God. Now go listen to Bill Hicks talking about fundamentalist Christians. Mom? That sounds like a cheat code or taking advantage of a glitch. God plays dirty. No one says no to Morgan Freeman. God damn it Elon, you really have too much money. Maybe. Or maybe there is something he was not telling us because he knew we would not believe him. Either way, I have several questions for him. Simpsons did it. Cardiff Giant. Damn Vikings get everywhere first. Welcome to Blue Land. The Vikings exploration was eclipsed only by their marketing. This is gold. Nah, blue. Welcome to Goldland. Viking goes to Long Island. Jake named Giver Dena O Corda O. We came here from another planet a long time ago, the colony on Mars didn't work out but the one on Earth did. Kind of did. Yeah. It's still up for debate. Avatar checks out. I love you. Is this a reference to their Greenland slash Iceland trick? Hello, I've just arrived in my fantastic boat. Or Irish monks. They beat the Vikings to North America. Really? Do you have more info? I've never heard this. Genuinely curious. Voyage of St. Brendan, not 100%, proof but thought he found North America a few centuries before the Vikings did. Web link. Very likely however. If you read the Brendan voyage by Tim Severine he completely recreated the trip in the leather boat, and sailed the whole way. He compares his voyage with the original text and there are too many similarities to discount. Edit, leather boat, not weather boat. Possible sure and your man did a great job of recreating the voyage to show it was possible. But there is no definitive proof it happened, just the stories about it. I love the story and the idea of it and I do like to believe it's true. Matt Damon, just trying to grow some goddamned potatoes. A long time ago. P.O.T.A.T.O.S. You know, boil them, mash them, put them in a stew. What's tears? Precious? That's a meme I haven't heard in a long time. Butchered as it may be. He's just trying to science the crap out it. Put some goddamn respect on the man's name. It's Matt Damon, space pirate blonde beard. You see, under maritime law. That we effed up Mars and so we came here on the Earth. At least when things go to hell Carl Urban will give us an awesome 6 minute long continuous first person action movie clip. Doom 2005 is my guilty pleasure for real. Semper Fi, Mother Effer is still one of my favorite movie quotes from The Rock. 
It would be the other way around. Right? Guilty pleasure is my doom 2005 for real. We destroyed our Mars. Then we tried to flee to Earth. It did not work out. So that's why I have a 25-hour clock. George Carlin turning in his grave. Actually if we effed up any planet it would have been Venus, look it up. Look up the planet Venus? Yeah. Agreed, it's wild. Look up CFC's Venus. We discovered that CFC's were bad by discovering them on Venus and realizing they were one of the reason Venus is so hot. I'm not sure even we could F up a planet that bad. Give us two or three hundred years. Make that one hundred. Goldilocks, Venus too hot, Mars too cold. Attack on Titan crap. We just keep moving forward. Until all planets are annihilated. Unlikely, given that we clearly evolved alongside all the other life on Earth. And there is a clear genetic and fossil family tree that goes back far before humans evolved, so it's not as though we just brought a Martian biosphere with us to replace Earth's. We obviously took the Martian fossil record and implanted it into the Earth, duh. Earth is just like when you get a new phone and migrate everything from the old phone onto it. Mars is the dusty old husk left behind forgotten in some drawer with no SIM card or battery. Alien dumping ground for post-anal probed humans. They pick them up in an excited fury and after the anal probing can't remember where they picked the human up, fairly sure we found him on the red one. Alien probe maester, May, all these G-class star system inner planets look the same to me, small and rocky. Yeah trust me. Aliens are incredibly racist. I find your theory the most plausible. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.